Hello, I'm Entrelis, and welcome back, of course, to Hearts of Iron 4. We're playing as People's Republic of China. We've just taken over China and Yuan. Guangxi clique is still to get gobbled up, though. So, uh, we're going to quickly build some civilian factories. Because we need them to be able to build more actual important military factories. So, that should be enough to get started on. And we're going to put them to the top of the list. Because infrastructure will repair itself over time. Uh, except for this. The Shangxi military factory is almost complete. Put them back to the top. Okay. I should have correct resources now. Excellent. Guangxi Click has a lot of resources. If we flip to the resource map, you'll see that it's incredibly tasty. And it's only six days till we go to war, so better get a move on, everybody. No divisions in basic training. We have a motorized division, right? Okay. Um, at a 10 width, I think that's worth saving. Sure. And I will delete the communist militias. We don't need those anymore. Cool. We're going to start training some motorized. It's going to be a long and laborious process. But I would like some. Um, maybe we can train more at the same time. Train 12 and we'll do two batches of 12. Okay, and the aim here is just like an outright offensive line. Just push in, grab everything, win. Hopefully they don't hold out with their island, because that would be frustrating. Okay. We've got our justification. We could go to war immediately. I think we've got to wait a little bit longer till we've actually got forces in position to attack. Gotta hope they don't join the allies or something. I think you are... No faction. Yeah, so they might join someone. We've got to make this war a quick one, then. Uh, you're in position. You're in position. Mm. You're still moving. Okay. Fast up. And uh, we'll edit our infantry to have a unit of artillery. We can just about afford to deploy that. Just. Legionnaires Bulgaria joined the Axis. Okay, Bulgaria's having a split. No, it flipped. It flipped. Nice. Hmm. You're still a veteran. Excellent. Come on, yellows. Modify government. We've kind of got all the industrial done, so I think electronics. Unless we wanted the 5% for uh, synthetics. I don't think we do. We're close enough to places that we won't need it. Uh, I'll go electronic research. Time buff. Unless... Technically, we've got heavy tank design now. Not sure we want that. Aircraft, Camco medium aircraft, fighter. Research time minus 10%, fighter, air agility attack, heavy bomber, technical bomb, close air support. Reliability on heavy fighter and technical bomber. By setting bomber division, we still get fighter, agility, and air attack. We get close air support. Wait, this just seems better. Fighter, 5% air attack, 10%. Fighter, agility, 5% air attack, 10%. That's the same. Heavy bomb reliability, tactical bomber reliability. Oh, I need the focuses that I don't have. Okay. And this one is just air research time, 10%, and tactical bomber, 
heavy fighter. Eh. Uh, that's not... <sighs> I'm not really going down those routes. The air research time's nice. I might just get it for that. We've done artillery. We've done most of our weapons. Hey, maybe it's time for ships. Uh, deck size, max range decrease. Meh. Deck size and carrier decrease. That seems to have point of carrier. Naval firepower. Again, that's a bit... I don't like those, actually. I might just not get them. Chief of Air Force. Chief of Navy. Air superiority 10%. That's good. That I like. That we might go for. Oh my god, I have 61 million people. Uh, um, okay. I guess we... Reduce ourselves from service by requirement to just extensive conscription? Reduce the penalties. Yeah. Okay. Sure. That's weird. I very rarely do that, especially at this time in game. Damn. Okay, I think we have to go to war soon, regardless of this yellow group. I'll chuck these groups in. And I want you to defend... You. That's such a simple system. I love it. Being able to just be like, yeah, defend this army. Or attack or cover this army. Right. We're going to war. Declare war. There we go. Press straight through to Nanning. Do that quick. Come on. It's the capital. We need to hit it. Uh, I think what we might do is flip you to... Hey, I can add 16 when this only says 15. Huh. Uh, yeah, we'll flip you to the, the five times and then... Get you up to... You know what? We'll just go straight to... We'll go straight to 30 factories if we can. I think you need it. Because we'll be building far more units. In fact, we'll start people getting into basic training now. And I want to be able to train like 24 at a time. I want to train maybe five groups of that. Meanwhile, the war is going fine. Let's make it a quick war. Decisions. What do we have? Expand the Burma. Oh, we'll talk about that later. Develop deposits. Ooh. For aluminium. Yeah, sure. I like that. More aluminium is nice. Nanning. Come on, Nanning. I want Nanning, please. We've got a superiority. 
We've also got supply issues because we're cramming everyone into a very tight space, but, you know, we've got S priorities, so that counts. Come on. There's not much I can really do about Nenning except for just wait. It's gonna happen. I've just got a lot of forces in there now. I'm going to try my best just to surround them. I think it's the aim of the game here. Okay. Getting there. Alright, we've got them all but one side. I think they're about to get pushed out. That might spell the end of the war. Flexible line. Excellent. That's fast production. Cancel. Don't you hate it when your robot just realizes that you're around and is just like, I want to talk. Uh, oh, we could go heavy tank. Just go straight down and get a few... Uh, hmm, hmm. Uh, I think we'll think about that later. Uh, we don't need field hospital. I actually want to roll up logistics to everyone. A good cheap way to get some attack is that rocket artillery. I think we'll go for it. And you can have a logistics company. Uh, you can have a logistics company and an engineering company. And that's good for now. All right. Come on, let's take Nanning. There we go. And we're still going. Oh, no, it is. We're done. I would like to take all. Um, I can't do that. All right. Pass, pass, pass. Take all states. And turn. Done. Oh, it's glorious. It's glorious. We have control. And they didn't get joined in the war, which is what I was really worried about. Uh, I would like less steel, thank you very much. Okay. Now we're looking pretty glorious. Pretty glorious indeed. Um, the war around us is pretty even. Hmm. We'll start building some convoy ships. How many do we need for all of this? We've got enough military equipment. We could do with more artillery, more motorized, more support equipment. Okay, well, let's convert you into fives, you into fives, and we'll get an extra one. You into fives, and we'll get an extra one as well. Extra five down there. Construction is going okay. Excellent. Well, I'm very pleased with how that went. the moment you can move up there and you can come down here oh French commune is actually communist now right we've had Chenault invite the flying tigers the hump we get an offsite military factory, which is kind of meh. Uh, we could prepare for War of Japan. Most of these are bypassed. It gives us base war support, which we're full on. I think we're... Um, 
Why can't we do this? German Reich must exist, not capitulated at peace with the People's Republic of China. Uh, it needs an opinion of us. Okay. We could do experimental and militarized. And combined arms, which gives us mechanized. Mm. French commune has capitulated, so that doesn't work. Uh, I think we'll go invite the flying tigers. I want to see what it does. Check on their opinion. That's fine. Okay. Have them go back to chilling. Uh, is everybody veteran? Yes. You aren't. Ah. I think we're still rolling out equipment, so it might change. Should be good, though. I think the Soviet Union are finally getting the upper hand. They've pushed back Japan quite a long way. You've only got Mongolia and Afghanistan on your side. If we chose to go for the Soviet Union, we could crush them pretty quick. Advanced artillery upgrade. Uh, we will start on atomics research. I think we're behind time. That's a bit too good to pass up on. How are you doing? Let's look. Only extensive conscription. Oh my god, they've got a lot of units. Yeah, I don't think we can take that on. Well, you can see why uh, Japan's failing. It never really managed to get its economy off the ground properly. Yeah, there's no way you can take on the Soviet Union right now. We take a chunk of land, but the land is so big and slow to move through that they'd be able to react. We get quite a stalemate. Gotta wait a bit longer. I think the Allies might have overcommitted here. And that's taking away from the effort on these fronts. That's my guess. Because British Raj is about to go bye-bye. I do not want to fight the Allies. Because that will mean I have to try and take uh, Japan. Which is going to involve a Navy. Britain, going to involve a Navy. And eventually the United States. I don't think they're in the war yet. But it will happen. So I don't want to get involved in that. Uh, I don't have a Navy. And, I, you know, I have some ports, but... We've got to work on actually getting the tech as well. I think the plan for the moment just has to be hold tight, build up, wait for everyone else to smash themselves to pieces while I've got this ridiculous amount of manpower. Because we have so much manpower. Yeah, we need more motorized. Uh, production. I'm going to take the motorized, put it up to here. Take five off the infantry equipment, which will go onto the motorized. And we'll upgrade our fighter, which I forgot to do. Oh, that literally only just happened. Okay. Uh, right, we've got the J3. Could do close air support. Air doctrines, we could start doing Navy stuff, which I think we need to do. Uh, tanks, again, could do... I think we'll start on the naval. And we have absolutely nothing. Okay, first things first. Uh, probably subs. Control the sea first. Prevent them from getting the stuff to you. Then take it further. Alright, we don't need quite so much aluminium. We can develop these deposits. We don't need quite so much steel. 
However, we will need more of your lovely synthetics. Alright. Yeah, motorized is our main issue right now. Two other issues, but the motorized is the main one. Yeah, if you can train up as well. Yeah, British Raj is losing heavily. Japan's getting heavily pushed back. If the Soviet Union does win those, it'll still have to fight the rest of the Allies, and there'll be a long, drawn-out, protracted war where I just sit here laughing until they get injured enough that I take them on. Walk out with, like, a top-tier army. Best of everything. Because once we get developed, we're going to be pretty strong. Nexus is focused very heavily here. I actually really want to see that. Hi. Uh, can I send an attaché? I don't have the political power. Oh, we don't have the political power. Unfulfilled imports. Oh, wait, what? Why are we suddenly having so many unfulfilled imports? That must be... Something's gone weird. Why? No one's importing suddenly. I don't know why that is. Temporary glitch in the system. Seems like a lot of unfulfilled imports. Invite the flying tigers. Okay, not I not not any clue what that did. Nothing at all. But uh, I'll sure. Uh, ooh, hello. Invest in shipbuilding. Light cruiser. Heavy cruiser. Order destroyers. Let's do invest in shipbuilding. If the United States decides that we're their enemy. That will improve relations again. I don't know what this is. Why are we having issues here? Do you just have none to trade? Why do you have none to trade? Okay, uh, Soviet Union suddenly doesn't have anything to trade. That's fine. I'm not sure why. Right. Um, who's nearby? You know what? Hungary. Sure. Steel. French commune. Oh, I can only get 12 of you. Um, some from Italy. Some from the French commune. Some from Hungary. And then some from Spain. Right. Cool. Oil. I don't think I have a choice. I think this has to be overseas. Why is Soviet Union suddenly stopped trading with me? Faction trader. They have claimed our territory. We claimed your territory? Operation Z. Operation Z? That must be, like... The fact we've now claimed the territory, it's not saying I did. It looks like that's getting smaller up there. Okay, French commune, this isn't being fulfilled, because... Ah, we don't have enough trade convoys. That makes sense. We need more ports. We need to make more... More pots. Many more pots. We need the trade convoys. You know what? I'm going to get Soviet Union on side again. 
because I want their trade. We can't need it. Right, construction, excavation. Well, we're going to go for excavation five. And... I don't think we're ever going to get much armor. I think we might just go anti-tank. Because we can ship that to our troops easier than we can do anything else. We need more steel again. Hi, America. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Does that work? That seems to work. Oh, no, sorry. Now you realize the convoys we don't have. Okay. Uh, fine. Oil's our issue. Maybe we do need to do a bit of synthetics just to hold us over. Got a few units of fighters. Um, everything else is slowly, slowly getting there. Oh, we suddenly got a lot more aluminium. Oop, we're good. Steel's going to fluctuate, so I'll leave it as it is. Right. Soviet Union are just crushing the Raj now. I don't know what changed, but very suddenly they just gave in. They just collapsed over the course of the last, what, month? Maybe a bit longer. Japan are just falling back. French economy are getting a little bit trampled up here. Denmark's still holding. Credit to Denmark. Oh, we've got an attack down here in Rome. Ah, oh, we're going to have to cover Macau, Hong Kong, etc. That's one of the things I really don't like. Trying to cover those in particular. Uh, we got our rocket artillery. Uh, mechanized rocket artillery. Motorized rocket artillery. That's the one. I think we'll pass. Uh, Anti-tank 2. Gonna be useful. But improved image equipment 3, I think. Was what we'll grab now. Just need more convoys. Which is hard to do when we don't have the stuff to make the convoys with. I think convoys... Maybe if I drag you to the top, you'll get priority in... Yeah. Oil and stuff, which is what we needed. That's a good call. Polish People's Republic wants a non-aggression pact. Polish People's Republic, where are you? Actually, do you even exist? I'm not going to give you a non-aggression pact. I don't even know where you exist, so. Are you being friendly again? They are being friendly again. Right. Hi, America. I mean, I appreciate the effort, but... We're going to get back with the Soviet Union. Hello. They No, they still want trade? Oh, they're not exporting any. Okay. So they changed their export law. That's why. Well, that sucks. The only people with a, a notable amount are... Venezuela and United States, particularly United States. Italy's now having issues with steel. British Raj capitulated. Mm, okay. Just make sure you don't 
you know, I, I want my steel. That's important to me. Uh, insufficient resources again. Decisions available. Move the capital. State is Beijing. State is Shanghai. Capital sales. We get a Chinese capital choice. Okay. Promises of peace. Uh, we get weekly war spot goes down. Daily political gain goes down. But we get weekly stability. Eh. I think we'll move the capital. I want to see what it does. With the end of the Chinese Civil War, it's time for us to consolidate power in China and show the people we are the modern incarnation of the Middle Kingdom. We are the state that will guide them into the future. To this end, we have a capital befitting our great state. We should govern from the old north capital, southern capital, or there's no need to move the seat of government. Okay. Well, I think... Like, Beijing is just too dangerous. Shanghai is probably a better choice. So I'm going to choose... Oh. I can't choose Shanghai. It's... Nanning, did they say? Nanjing. Where's Nanjing? Oh, it is here. In the state of Shanghai. Yeah. Uh, we'll choose the old southern capital. It's safer. It's not near the border. Oh, I thought we'd get a bonus or something from that. We spent 50 political power to move our capital to somewhere that I haven't got any forts built. Fine. Invested into shipbuilding. Uh, order destroyers. We get bonuses to research for our destroyers. That's useful. We can't rebuild any right now. That would take steel and oil. And I don't have oil and steel's pretty scarce. So, nope. Uh, construction. Stop building those forts. I would like you to build the forts around the capital. But at maybe a future date. We've got more important things right now. And we're not being attacked, so. Okay, you're all fully trained. You can stop training. Same with you. You do need to train. You don't. You don't. You are done. And you do need to train just a little bit. And you're done. Yeah, you're still going to be going for a bit. Okay. So, all in all, going rather well. Pills really good trying is strong. We need to make a decision about where our next move is going to be. I actually don't know. I want to fight a few people, including like Siam. But that will require us to do actual, you know, invasion via sea. Yes, we can do an airborne invasion. It's not a good idea. They're terrible. They don't work. People need to stop telling me to do airborne invasions. They work against a player who doesn't maybe defend everywhere. The AI defends everywhere, which means they've got less on the front line. Um, yes, they can work in niche situations, but without recon, it's more like just chucking people into the blind. And I don't want to end up in a war where I can't actually win because I failed to chuck my people into the blind. Uh, ooh, hello. You can go here and... Ah, uh, no. You should go here and train. You need to be in a training unit. Other choices are we can hit, you know, Raj in Japan, which is now just Japan. Again, we couldn't really hit the island. We'd be stuck in a war versus the Allies. We couldn't win. We could hit Soviet Union. That would be tough. They are strong. They have uh, probably 700 units. And their number of military factories is about 230 with 80. I don't think that's an option. I think we would need to roll out a lot more forces before we did that. We could. We'd have to roll out a lot more forces. Now, we have 60 million people. They have... You know, three point something. What we desperately need is to just be able to chuck people out. Vast numbers. Maybe we cut down on the artillery. Get it back from the existing units. Cut down on the support equipment they've got as well. And that way we can just kick people out with guns without having to worry about support equipment and artillery, which is holding the back. Notably, the support equipment that comes in a mechanized form, uh, motorized form, the ones that we actually have to motorize for, is holding them back. That's probably the good idea. If we're going to face the Soviet Union, we need to just get numbers out the door. We can do so. 
but it will mean that we just need to decrease the quality. Otherwise, we're going to be held back by industry, which is going to take at least a year to get off the ground. I'm interested to see what the comments say. I'm interested to see what the comments say. Let me know what you think, comments section. Because right now, I'm in two minds. Okay, I'm in more than two mines. I'm in a lot of mines. Hell, we could just wait out the entire war until someone dies and then just pick on whoever loses. Or wins. Whoever's weak. Or we could just, you know, build up some naval invasion tech and attack Siam. Maybe attack, you know, whoever else is sitting around who we think we can pick on. But for now, I've been at Aerosium. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And of course, like, subscribe. Stay shiny.